Jack's doing great. I mean, he's he's a talented kid. I won't tell him all the time he's talented because sometimes that makes him not work too hard, but he does work hard. And I'd say lockdown's done him a favor, really, because, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's been able to train with me full time. He'll be able to see if he actually does want this path in life. He says he does, and I believe him, and I believe he's going to do well. And I believe one day that he's going to be the UFC champion without putting too much pressure on him. I believe he's going to be, he's going to be something great. <laughs> supposed to be weighing day in Abu Dhabi, you know, for my um, featherweight bite on, on Fight Island. So obviously, you know, it's not gone, it's not gone ahead. You know, I'm obviously gutted that I'm not fighting on Fight Island. I'm supposed to be fighting tomorrow in a nice sunny country in Abu Dhabi. But I'm here in, you know, in Wigan where it's all snowing and crappy weather. So training was done, camp was done. You know, I trained hard, I was feeling great. There was, there was no hiccups along the way, no injuries along the way. I mean, I thought it was all going too well, but, you know, and then, then obviously I got the news, but yeah, so we, me, my coach and, and Terry, Terry set off, gone to London. We'd done our COVID test in London. We'd isolated. And then I got my results back for that COVID test on, on Thursday night. I had the first, uh, Thursday morning I had my test. Thursday night I got the results, which I was all clear. I didn't text any of the others because I just thought, oh, everyone will be clear, everyone will be fine. And, I got the news at nine o'clock in the morning when I got up. I had a few missed calls from the UFC, from the coach, and you know I had a message, and um, you know I got the news that one of the teams got COVID, and I'm not, I'm not able to fight. So then I was, I was, I was distraught. I was devastated. You know what I mean? I was, you know, I was upset because it wasn't just. This is like it's not just ten weeks to camp or whatever. It's a lifetime of dedication, and sacrifices, and. You know, this time of year, I, I've, I've sacrificed all the main times with my family. Christmas day, I was out running. Boxing day, I was out training. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Every day that's like special with your family and your kids especially when, you know, I've got a four-year-old at home who's excited to get up and open his presents. I'm going out jogging, do you know what I mean? So it was, yeah, a lot of sacrifices gone into it. And then when that news hit me, you know, I, I was upset and you know, they just, we, we had to leave London, get back to Wigan. I couldn't go straight home because we didn't know. Obviously, I'd been near the person who, who had COVID and I didn't want to go straight home to my pregnant wife, who's obviously ready for having the baby. So I went and booked straight into a hotel nearby my house and I stayed in there for another four days longer just to see if I had any symptoms. Then after four days, I had, I had another, another COVID test just to check, make sure I was negative. And I was, I was still negative. So, you know, I went home and I see my family then, four days after I found the news. As soon as you find out that opponent, your mind just switches. It's like, you know, everything has, everything has to, nothing else matters then. Everything just matters about that fight. Everything has to be, has to be bang on for that fight. You know, your nutrition has to be bang on. Your training has to be bang on. You know, everything like that, mentally you have to be, you have to be perfect and you only really think about that fight even when you're home with your family and stuff you in the back of your mind that fight's always there and that person's always there who you're gonna fight it was it was tough <laughs> i said I'm, I'm a grown man but i cried do you know what i mean i, I won't hide it i'm not bothered about saying that but that's how that's it that's how much how much it means to me and there's there's been a lot of setbacks you know what i mean since i got in the ufc uh, a lot of people do say I'm one of the most unlucky, unluckiest British fighters in, on the UFC roster, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on that. You know, I've give, I had a few days sulking, and I'm back to a, a good positive mindset now, and I'm training, I'm training well, I'm training hard, and just want hopefully I, I get that call sooner rather than later, and I can get straight back out there, and just hopefully, you know, it was a blessing, and we might see that down the line that it was a blessing and. It was meant to happen that I wasn't meant to meant to do that fight, and I was meant to. There's there's another fight there down the line for me. So as far as I'm aware, I mean, I've obviously spoke to my coach, and he just said that the, the matchmakers have just said I need to stay ready. So I don't know whether that means for a pullout or it means for uh, just another fight card down the line. But obviously, and I mean, I I was hoping, I was hoping to 
to fight on the I was supposed to fight on the 16th of January and obviously there's three fights on the fight island so I was hoping to try and get on that 23rd fight card on Jan January 23rd which is McGregor's which is the fight that McGregor's on um, I was hoping to try and get the same fight on that but obviously with the isolation rules and stuff over here like um, we have to do 10 days if we've been near somebody and stuff like that, isolation so He's been matched now against my old opponent who beat me, Movsa, which is, you know, anyone would take it and it is what it is and you can't you can't knock him for taking it really. But yeah, it's it's gonna be um, it's gonna be tough to one, obviously tomorrow I'm gonna have to watch I'm gonna watch the show on the sixteenth of January, they were supposed to be on. I've seen them all weighing in today and stuff like that, so that hurt. And and then obviously twenty third I'm I'm gonna watch that show as well and I'm gonna see the post person I was supposed to beat. Honestly, I mean, I've never really called anyone out, but I will fight anyone in my division. I want to I want to be moving up the ranks, obviously, and I want the names like Nick Lentz was a good name. It was a great fight for me. So I do want to run that back. That is a fight that I do want to, want to happen still. Let's see, who, let's see who they give me next time. Um, there's a few there's a few knocking about. I was supposed to fight Mac one as well, obviously, another setback, but um, he's another great fight I'd like to, like to take. But honest to anyone, really, I mean, fire some names out, I'll, I'll say if I'll fight them, you know what I mean, I don't mind. If I find your names out, I'm sure you're going to say, yeah, I'll fight Yeah, them. I will. <laughs> so, yeah, anybody. I mean, I look at the I look at the cards now from through February, and I think, oh, well, if, if any of them pull out, you know, I'd, I'd, I could fight him and stuff like that. But I just want to, I just want to, I just want a, a, an, an active run. I want to be active this year. I want to, you know, I want a, bit, a few opportunities, you know, and I'll snatch them.